181 pounds, guys. That is a good sign. I, and honestly, I feel like tomorrow morning I'll probably be even less or right about the same. I went to the UK. My lowest weigh-in before going was like 181.2 or something like that. So it's really good that uh, you know I go to a different country, don't track a single macro or anything like that, and I come back weighing with or with a new low weigh-in. Granted, it's just a small new low weigh-in, but it's good. Feels good. physical birth. Hey guys, look who I got. Yay. 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 He drove all the way out to the middle of nowhere to get me. That's true, I did. Uh-huh. So here's my first squat session back from the UK. Uh, for some reason, and I'm not sure if it was triggered by the flight or... Um, it, it's really hard for me to pinpoint how long I've had this little issue, but my lower back's been pretty tender over the last few weeks uh, just through trying to maintain my heavy lifts and the dieting and losing weight so my back felt pretty much completely fine when i was you know 193 pounds but now that i'm deadlifting you know the same weight if not even heavier well yeah i am lifting heavier on my deadlifts uh lower back has been feeling kind of tender so you saw the first set of seven and this is the actual fifth set of seven i think i'm doing 345 pounds this is me starting off a new training cycle with the squat um, this is my 75% day, so if you do the math, you can figure out what squat training max I'm using for this. I kind of just forgot. Um, but <laughs> you can see here, it looks pretty cool that my hamstrings are actually starting to kind of be visible uh, when, I, when I lift. Uh, it looks pretty cool. I honestly didn't have hamstrings a few years ago like I didn't have them so it's really cool to see that I've been improving them and glutes too I really didn't have that much glutes either so it's great that I've been improving my hamstrings and glutes especially with an exercise like this right here which is probably my top uh, hamstring uh, exercise aside from seated leg curls um, so right here you know it's each set I'm resetting these are stiff leg deadlifts start the lift above the toes end it with a full hip extension, but then uh, bring the bar back down to above my toes. Just a great way to work the hamstrings and it's a great way to stay in shape, if you catch the joke. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's hamstrings. But yeah, I've been going to this gym for a little while now. I really love it. This uh, little CrossFit room they got going on here is just a great place to stay in shape. <laughs> and uh, i just uh, enjoying that. Here's an exercise that I've been doing. Uh, sometimes instead of my uh, walking dumbbell lunches, I've been doing these and I definitely recommend these. This is just uh, in place reverse dumbbell lunges. Uh, I think that's the best way to describe these. You're doing them in place and you're doing them stepping back. And I've found that uh, it takes a little while to get used to, but eventually you can make your steps really uniform and you kind of uh, connect the movement with your mind and you're able to get a pretty identical step each and every time. But first, when you start doing this, uh, your steps will be varied quite a bit. You'll be stepping wider or more narrow than normal. But uh, after you do a couple sets, uh, over time, you really start to uh, get used to this exercise and this movement. And honestly, I feel this in my glutes better than uh, doing walking continuously uh, with the dumbbells or the barbell. So in terms of glutes, this is one of my favorite glute exercises, aside from sumo deadlifts and uh, barbell hip thrusts, which I'm not really doing at the moment. Jeez. Babe. All right, guys, Mad Max, just watched that. It was awesome. How'd you like that movie, huh? Sorry, I don't know why I yawn every time you shoot the camera off. Yeah, you either yawn or like scratch my nose. It was a nose. really good movie. Definitely recommend watching it. <laughs> okay, I'm ready now. And then we watched your dad play baseball. It was slow pitch softball with our church team, but that's okay. Um, Mad Max was very good. It was a lot better than I expected it to be. It was. And I, I know why the critics gave it such a high rating. It's yeah. because they did such a good job with like everything that was like visual. Like the visual well, effects and were more. phenomenal. And the well, storyline was good too. Yeah. Like when someone died, you were like, 
you like felt it here. Like every time someone died, you're like, oh, well, I mean, you know, not the bad guys. We're not gonna, we're not gonna give it. Like every, I'm not gonna say anything. But every time someone died, you're just like, oh, oh. But let me tell you, I called something in the beginning of the movie, and I was very right. Yeah, you're very right. I was, very I was right. wrong. I, I was wrong. I knew that was gonna happen. I was wrong. Yeah. I was wrong. Good job. Good job. Thanks. No, I was just, I, I didn't mean to like say that you were wrong. I was just proud of myself for knowing that was gonna happen. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it was your turn because usually I'm right. So. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Sure. Right. <laughs> What's up, guys? Here at my parents' house just to see how they're doing. I haven't seen them since before I went to the uh, Body Power UK and uh, yeah, looking forward to seeing them. But also Cookie, who hasn't been doing too well. Uh, she hasn't been eating that much, they've been saying, and uh, concerned, concerned. So let's check out how she's doing. I'm filming this in anticipation because uh, I haven't seen her in a while. I love when she gets all excited, you know, seeing me for the first time in a while. So I'm excited. Let's see how she's doing. Cook stirs. Let's see where the cookie is. All right, now let's have to of course. And then for the On here. Huh. She didn't even hear me. Hi, right, Cook. Get up. It's a Londoner. Yeah. That was London. That was good. How you doing? Mom, should I have to go to work? Okay. Good night. Good night, Mom. Be good. Okay, all home now. And I'm tired as hell. So I'm going to get to bed, guys. Have a good night. Hey, quit being a little bitch! Oh, his cake!